what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so just wanted to do a first ever actually i've never talked about this series or this reboot that's coming out for it on this channel ever before so today you see the images you saw the thumbnail we are talking about wrong turn yes i am a big fan of wrong turn myself i am sure i have plenty of subscribers who love the wrong turn series i've actually been asked to do a wrong turn video for quite some time i meant to do one last week had a lot of stuff going on then ultimately forgot went to sleep but now i'm here right now recording this video uh, to talk about this new wrong turn reboot now the original wrong turn came out in 2003 it starred elijah dushku um and a few other actors and actresses whose names i do not have the knowledge of at this point in time uh, <laughs> but anyway that film back in 2003 it focused on a set of individuals or a group of friends and one stranger who end up having to band together when they're stalked and preyed upon by a group of cannibals out in the mountains of Virginia or the back country of Virginia, if I, I'm just gonna call it that, the back country of Virginia, uh, after they have made, of course, a wrong turn. <laughs> so there's these hillbilly cannibals out there and they, they, they're deformed, actually. That's the biggest thing that terrified me about that film. When I saw that they were, when they were, uh, deformed the way they were and then of course the sequels delve into it a bit more we find out that they actually do have interrelations amongst the family and that's probably also contributing to why they look the way they do but that movie back in 2003 is not one of the one of the greatest movies to ever come out or anything like that but for what it was the original wrong turn that was a pretty solid film back in 2003 that was a pretty solid film it still holds up today for most of its qualities and most of the elements that go into filmmaking uh, a lot of stuff feels kind of out feels kind of cheesy now as would any movie honestly it's very very rare that you find a lot of movies from back in the day that'll hold up wrong turn holds up but there's a lot of it that's kind of like eh. but the sequels of course i think the best sequel for wrong turn is wrong turn 2 wrong turn 2 that is the best sequel the other ones i could live without them i'm a fan of the whole se series even though they turned into like torture torture porn as the narrative progressed and we started diving more into the hillbillies and all this other stuff regarding them but anyway there's a reboot coming out and it started filming last year in ohio uh it's called wrong turn the foundation and it's yes it's a reboot it's the seventh installment in this franchise it is a being described as a reimagining of the of the original and it is being written by alan b McElroy, who if i'm not mistaken um he he created the first he had had a, had something to do with the first movie he's the one responsible for the first movie uh, so that already is definitely something to be excited about the original creator of this franchise is back but recently i horror over the weekend they had a chance to reach out to the the film's director who is who is mike p nelson uh, not really too familiar with mike p nelson but they asked they had this to ask because of course we're living in a very fluid time period and the movie was supposed to come out this year to everyone's knowledge and they've been done filming for quite some time and it was it started shooting last last year in ohio and it's been done for quite some time so when asked about the release he had this to say about the film's pending release he said i honestly have very little news but i can say we just i can say we just completely finished the movie this past week and it is wild the next steps will be in the hands of our distributor so finishing everything of course meaning they they are done with the editing process they're done with their final product they're satisfied and they are ready to get it out there the only thing that they need to worry about or be concerned with is the distributor deciding when it is the best appropriate time to put this movie out now that the distributor of this movie is Sabin films they tried to reach out to them they haven't got any comment back now uh what i will say is just take this with a grain of salt i horror again i horror is the website that put out this article that jeepers creepers was jeepers creepers 4 was announced or something like that so i would say again take what i'm saying with a grain of salt i horror they have a track record of putting out reliable news and things that can spark your interest but a lot of the stuff that they put out yes are rumors they are rumors uh this i would take it as official news just because no other websites covering doesn't mean it's not official wrong turn isn't a mega hit franchise that a thousand uh news web outlets would cover uh but yeah it sounds like we are going to be waiting for wrong turn seven the foundation for we're just waiting to see what happens now with this release date and that's going to be in the hands of the distributor which is pretty understandable the plot of the movie is basically the same as the original 
uh, it's a group of young men and women are systematically being killed off by an Appalachian backwood by Appalachian backwood friends or fiends whereas the original and its sequels became known for their distinct inbred villains villains this reboot appears to concentrate instead on a centuries old underwalk under centuries old unwelcoming organized community living in the mountains um so whether or not they're actually going to be cannibals we have to actually see but wrong turn and this whole franchise has been built on this idea of cannibalism and cannibal killers so them stepping out of that i don't really have a problem with it like i said before the sequels they started treaching into some territory that was just really unnecessary this game became the point where like you're questioning why are we still going through these movies why, why are these movies still being made but like i said before big fan of the original big fan of the second movie i watched the other movies just because i can watch them and i can tolerate the how bs i find them to be some reason i still get some kick out of it maybe i just it's one of those guilty guilty pleasure franchises where the movies are so bad but they're not that bad where you can't stand to look at it you get a few laughs from it actually for just how absurd they are <laughs> but anyway let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you excited for wrong turn seven when are you going to expect it to come out do you think the distributor saving films will put it out later this year straight to vod of course and that's what we all expect uh let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video